Hi, this is Lou from Foothills Properties in Tucson, Arizona. Today I'm in Oro Valley in a community called Cañada Ridge near um, La Cañada and Naranja. I'm going to turn so you can look down the street. There's a car coming, so we're going to get out of the middle of the street. And right now I'm in front of a house that's right near the entrance. As you can see, it's a single-story home with a two-car garage, good apron. Looks like a few people park on the apron, but I'm not sure if that's allowed or not. So it would be important if you discuss that with your leasing agent, if you have more than two vehicles or cannot park the vehicles in the garage because you have too much storage items. We're walking up to the front of the house. As you can see, there is a wrought iron front door. As I like to say, it's great for leaving the door open in the cooler climbs and times so you can get fresh air in. It could be in the early mornings in the summer or middle of the day in the winter. I'm going to close the door behind me. The air conditioning set quite high here, but it's still a lot cooler than outside. Uh, this room has a very high ceiling, it's sort of a pitched roof. And you can see it's both a living room and a dining room area. And we'll look at it again from the other side as we come back through. To our immediate left is a little den or office, TV room, ceiling fan, no closet. It's not considered a bedroom. That doesn't mean somebody couldn't sleep there. We just do not count it as a bedroom for the rules of multiple listing and real estate. Uh, straight ahead is the family room with the fireplace, the kitchen. To the left is the bedrooms. We'll take a look at those in just a second. Since we're here, we'll walk in and take a look at the family room, the fireplace, the TV area. It's what that's designed as. Whether you put the TV there or not is totally up to you. Here we have the kitchen, the breakfast bar island, a place for a breakfast table, nook table, two-door refrigerator with ice and water through the door, uh, a five burner plus grill, uh, gas range, microwave above, dishwater, dishwasher below. Yes, there'll be dishwater in the dishwasher. And we have a double sink with a, with a pull-out uh, handle sprayer and a little writing desk. While we're back here, oh, I usually unlock the door. I wasn't doing that earlier today. We have a side wraparound wall, walled yard, small backyard, little bigger area there. Nice thing here is we have a good overhang, and this does face west, but at this point, late in the afternoon, it's 4.30. Um, there's no real sun that's on it. Yes, it's on the floor, but it still shades the house very nicely. You could sit there after the sun goes down. It would be comfortable in the morning. It would be a great breakfast place. We're back in, we'll take a look here at the family room. The kitchen again, a bonco, nice little wall to put stuff on. We'll turn, we'll go into the bedroom wing. And um, we have the oh, light. We'll have the uh, hall closet, linen closet together. Here we have the double door master suite. We'll walk up to the corner and turn so you can see it from here. Then we'll go in and look at the bathroom, the master bath. Good size. The wall to my left looks like the ideal wall for the bed. Here we have the master bath. We have the stand-up shower. We have the 
garden tub, the double sinks, the commode, and we do have a good size walk-in closet again with shelving, double hanging, and, and good single hanging. We'll walk out, walk down the hall. We have another bedroom. You can see the closets turn as that go. Again, high ceiling, ceiling fan. As I said, there's closet there. The one right next to it is very similar. The shape is just a little bit different. You can see the closet there. Oh, this one has a light kit. So let's turn on the light. There we go, we have a light on. I looked, I didn't see the light kit earlier. So this is just a little different shape, maybe a hair smaller, two hairs. We have the laundry room. There is uh, electric and gas hookups, but no, and a deep sink, but no washer and dryer included. I was out in the garage, the garage light is on. There's apron, but no step up. So if you don't like step ups going into the house, this house doesn't have them. Uh, air handler and hot water tank are in the garage for ease of service, and they are both a, a gas. We have a gas hot water tank and a gas furnace here. Okay, we'll walk back through, take another peek in, and since I didn't have my light on, we'll go take a look at the kitchen one more time. Oh, we didn't take a look at the hall bath. As I said, it's late in the afternoon. I must be off my game. The light's on, but it is covered. And frankly, as you can see from the photos of me, which aren't intentional, I have my sunglasses on. Okay, we're back into the kitchen area. We're going to be in the kitchen in a second. We'll walk, take a look at the stove top, the microwave. We'll look down at the sink. Here you have the dishwasher. The bench. And in the big rooms, the light doesn't make that much difference, but in some of the smaller spaces, it does help. And I apologize for leaving it off earlier. But I like to walk through the second time anyway, so you can see it again in case you miss something. We're back at the front door. I will open it and open the wrought iron door. And we'll walk out front. We'll take a look at the street. And I want to thank you for taking the tour. And have a great, great day. A super Tucson day and a great day wherever you are. And there in the mountains be are the mountains beyond the tree and the house across the way. Thank you.